Vaseline is just kind of to make it look like wet because burns usually aren't dry because you're kind of ripping up all your skin. Erin Toomey, student, theater kid, and special effects artist. I'm just gonna start mixing this latex into these coffee beans that I have here. Here, she's using a technique she found on the internet. Uh, it's just like what a lot of effects people use and like burns and stuff. It just makes it look a bit grittier and dirtier. When Erin needs more inspiration, she Googles that too. Most special effects makeup that I see used in Hollywood or stuff is like burns, cuts, gunshot wounds, frostbite, that kind of stuff. So, you know, the internet's pretty gross for all that. That's kind of not fun to like look at to like try to find inspiration, but it's necessary. Before Erin can apply the coffee beans, she has to start with the base of liquid latex. This is what makes her burns malleable, and it helps make each one unique. Nobody can tell me like, oh, you're doing it wrong because it's all like randomization when you're putting it on your skin. This is like the perfect stage it's at where it's just like tacky enough that I can pull it and make these big holes and like gross gashes. Erin can do burns, cuts, scars, frostbite, and masks. You may have even seen her work walking around during Spirit Week when she created a Voldemort mask for student Griffin Hoover. This is the first First part of putting on the Voldemort mask, how's it look? Taking off the effects, now that's a whole different story. <laughs> and then it's all discolored on that side and gross. From the Cat's Eye News, I'm Renee Boudreau.